Hi y'all, this is Genevieve with Belly Down and Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. Got a lot more energy. I'm finally recuperating, I think. And this is, I'm gonna talk to y'all about moon water. Now on Wednesday, this past Wednesday, when I told you the ingredients to the Come To Me Lover uh, drawing oil, I gave you the ingredients and I mentioned moon water. So I'm gonna to talk to y'all about moon water. And then on Sunday, I'm going to tell you the verbiage I use when I'm preparing it and what I do when I'm preparing the, the oil or the perfume rather, sorry. So, but first I'm gonna to talk to y'all about moon water. Moon water, is moder water that has been infused with the magic of the full moon. Yes. Every full moon, I take glass bottles. This is my favorite size right here, a big jug. I had gallon jars, but I they were too heavy for me. I mean, I could do it, but it was just really a big pain in the butt. And they took up way too much room in my refrigerator. So, and I use gl glass bottles. I like glass way better than plastic. And I take them out into my backyard and I have a seat that, like a bench, a cement bench, that, and I leave them for the moon to transform into magic water. Never, I ne however, like I've got to give you one warning, never make moon water during an eclipse because the eclipse itself has magic that is stronger than the strength of the moon. And because of that, it'll mess with your moon water. So I place it on my bench and I pray to the goddess. It's gonna be a different prayer every time. Something like, oh great goddess, I thank you for the moon. You are the triple moon goddess. You have sent the moon to us. I ask you to infuse this jar, this water with your magic and that it might bring to me what I need it to bring to me. Help it to bring health, help it to bring love, what whatever it is you want it to bring, you just talk to her. You can do it in rhyme, you can do it in prose, however you are, feel good about it. I generally use the Morgan, Hecate, or Isis. The Morgan, well, I love them all, really. Um, I, the Morgan and Hecate are the triple moon goddesses, depending upon whether we're talking Greek or Celtic. Isis is associated with spells and rituals involving healing, protection, and magic. So those you might want to do if that's, that's what you're bring, doing the effort for. So you start by placing your water in the bottle. You can choose bottles that emphasize your intention. They don't have to be a big jug. It can be canning jars. They can be a perfume bottle that you've cleaned. It can be a honey jar if you're drawing love. Whatever it is that resonates with you. I like this and then I just use it as I need. One of my dreams, I'm sharing dreams with you again, is that when I get to my own home in Louisiana, I want an extra refrigerator in the garage with just beverages in it. And maybe some, some frozen food, excuse me because my refrigerator has a lot of beverages in it. I mean, I usually have about four of those bottles. So, and I need more, I really do. They nev I never survive the month with the moon water, never. So you place it outside and you can place crystals around it. For example, if you know you're gonna be doing love, you might put a um, rose quartz. You know you're going to be doing psychic things. You might place a amethyst. It just depends upon what you're planning to do with your water. And that's completely optional. This is your water, your spells, your magic. If you're trying to create, um, if you're trying to use a protection spell, black tourmaline is always a good one. So it just depends upon what you want out of this moon water. Since mine is always 
usually pretty generic because I use it for everything, including my tea in the mornings. A lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, then I want it there. And I definitely always, if I'm making a mixed drink and it's got water in there, moon water. So I cap my bottle so that no bugs can fly in. That is completely optional. No, it's not for me to leave it open. Some people do, some people don't. Some people put crystals inside the moon water, not me. Once again, and in the morning, I collect my moon water. I put it back in the refrigerator, which I don't guess you have to do that if you have enough room. And you use it however you want. I use it in perfumes, in spells, to make tea, etc. The first time I did this, I made coffee with it until I ran out. And then I realized I had to be a little stingier with it. So namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube page so you never miss another ingredient or anything again. Bye-bye.